In this training, we're gonna go over the conversion objective and how to set up an ad for conversions. Okay, so if we go over to the ads manager and we see our objectives here, so every time we create a new ad, we get to choose from these objectives. Now, everybody wants to know what's the difference between the traffic and clicks to website con consideration as opposed to the conversion objective. Okay, the only difference is, these are all the same, the only difference is, is you're telling Facebook how you want them to optimize your ad. Okay, so Facebook, when you create this conversion objective, you're telling Facebook that you want to get your ad in front of people who will take a specific action. People who will register or sign up or take that specific action for this consideration, when you're coming here and you're telling Facebook to optimize your, your ad for traffic, you're basically telling Facebook that you just want clicks, okay? You're more concerned with getting uh, traffic to your website. This is telling Facebook that you, you want, you're more concerned with people converting, okay? And in order to have a conversion um, fired, and notified into your data inside Facebook's ads manager, you need to have a pixel on your thank you page or it needs to be on the page that comes after the initial page that they land on. So in other words, if somebody clicks on your ad, they end up on a specific landing page and let's say they opt in, they exchange their name and email for a specific lead magnet that you're offering. What's the next page that they hit? Okay, that's the conversion page. Now, if you're sending somebody to a shopping cart page and they buy something, what's the next page after that that they hit after they purchase something that needs to have a conversion pixel on in order to notify Facebook that you actually have a conversion. Okay, that's how this conversion is set up and I'll, I'll walk you through the entire process of this ad and kind of break it down for you. So if we click on conversions here, we need to set this up. So I'm gonna say I'm sending people to a lead magnet here. Um, Facebook cheat sheet and I'm optimizing for conversions here. Um, I'm going to copy this and bring it to the next page. I'm going to paste it here. And you can see when I optimize the my ad for conversions Facebook is telling me that I have to select the conversion event okay so this is my conversion event actually that's not the conversion here it is right here Facebook cheat sheet opt-in okay so what conversion is this what am I optimizing this for when people hit this thank you page it's gonna fire a conversion So in order to have this page fire, or in order to be able to pull up this page here, you need to go back and watch the video on creating custom audiences, or custom conversions, I'm sorry. Okay, so when you create a custom conversion, and I'll walk you through this real quick. You click here, create a custom conversion, Includes traffic that meets the following conditions. Okay, URL contains. Okay, that would be this thank you page right here. So I would come up here and I could actually copy this entire URL or I can just take it from slash to slash and put that in here. Okay, but since I already have that here, I don't have to do it. Then you can choose a category. 
Okay, what is this? Is it a lead, a purchase? What is this? I would put lead here. If it's a purchase for you, you can put a purchase here. I'd put a lead here. I could put that here. You could click next. You can name this FB Cheat Sheet Conversion. And then I could even set a conversion value of a dollar. Okay, but if you have a product or service, if you're selling something that costs, you know, $29 or $28, you can put that in here. Okay, and then you just push create. You've just created a custom conversion. Okay, now you're done. It'll take, you'll have to refresh the page a couple times in order for this uh, new conversion to show up. So you want to check back with it within, you know, 20 minutes or so after you've, uh, after you've refreshed the page a few times. Okay, so let's go back. And right here is where you would find that conversion page that you're optimizing for and find it and set it in here, which we just did. Okay, so now you're going to choose your locations and they're going to be all the usual suspects for me. Canada, UK, Australia. Okay, and then you just come down here and you do the same age you know your demographics, 25 to 65. I have all gender. If you know yours is men or women, you can choose them here. I'm going to use English here as the language. And then we get into the detailed targeting. Okay, there's a whole video on this. So here's where you're going to put your interests and behaviors in. Okay, so I'm not going to go through and fill all that out. Please watch the ad on split testing here so you understand how to set up your interests and set them up individually into each ad so you can find out exactly which interest is producing the results for you and which ones aren't. Okay, so you're not wasting money. It's not costing you more money to run ads to people who actually aren't interested in what you have to offer okay so make sure you watch that video that's very important and it makes a big difference in how much you're gonna actually spend per click or per impression okay so once we have all our interests in here okay so we're gonna scroll down here to placements I'm gonna click on edit placements and you can see that there's many things here for me, I don't, uh, I don't do audience network. I'm not going to worry about Instagram. I'm not going to optimize for right column yet. And I don't want instant articles. So I have feeds here. News feed. Okay, says devices, mobile enabled, desktop enabled. What I do here is I'm going to optimize for feeds first and then once I my ad is working, I'll then come here and turn on right column to see if right column's working. I'll test these against each other and see if it's worth to keep the right column open. And then if I want, I can come back and turn on any of these other ones that I want and test those. But First, I want to find out if the ad's actually going to work, and I want to optimize for feeds. Okay, so that's how I do it. And then we can scroll on down and... Okay, so then we come down here. I'm not going to choose anything. I'm going to come right down to my budget and schedule. I'm going to choose... Let's 
seven dollars here and when you watch the video on how to split test all of your interests you're gonna know why I just did that because you're gonna have probably anywhere from 10 to 30 interests separated so you can touch test each interest against each other to see which ones are working again you have to watch that video to understand how the ads are set up to work to optimize I don't believe in lumping everything together and getting 500 to a million people and then you know creating a budget of you know 15 or 20 dollars a day and then optimizing it that way it, to me that you're wasting a lot of money that way this is the better strategy this is what the the pros use okay so we're gonna go with seven here and then what we do when you watch that video you'll know that we're gonna separate out a bunch of interests into ads that are all distinguished all by themselves okay so then we're gonna we're optimizing for conversions here I want to go with one day okay bid amount it's gonna be automatic I let Facebook do the bidding for me and everything else is going to stay the same okay so let's go ahead and continue again when you watch the video on split testing I'm only going to be using one single image per ad per interest okay so if I have 10 to 20 interests I'm gonna have the same image on all of them and then once I understand which interests are producing the the best results then I'm gonna put them into one single ad and then I can test different images okay so we're going with one image so I'm gonna upload the image here the image has to be 1200 by 628 pixels it's right here okay our website URL that's our landing page right there that's the page we want them to hit as soon as they click on our ad that's gonna go right here and then here's the headline here and what I do is I fill out the sheet before I ever come into the ads manager and you can download this sheet this way I have everything here in front of me I've created my headline copy I've created my main text copy I've created my link newsfeed description text copy here and I have all my links my ad links right here here's the landing page link here's my conversion page link so here's the headline I'm going to copy that come back over here paste that right into there I'm gonna go back and get the text copy come back over here and paste that into there and then we come down here we have a call to action button okay I'm gonna use the download button because that's what my ad is about it's about downloading this specific cheat sheet so now next is our news feed description link description so we're gonna copy that that's gonna come here and then you have your display link which is optional okay I'm gonna leave it as glennandrews.net paste that in there okay that shows up right here okay so you're probably wondering what what do you say in your ad copy in these ads 
Okay, first you're actually trying to call out to a specific audience. You're targeting a specific audience. I'm basically asking a specific question that only people who are interested in Facebook ads would actually be interested in. Okay, so when I say ads underperforming, not sure what to write, okay, that's the problem. So in all your ads, what you're doing is you're basically stating the problem and then you're giving them the solution. You're also trying to target people. So you're trying to target a specific person. Okay, so these questions, ads underperforming, not sure what to write, these are all targeted to people who are actually writing Facebook ads, who are interested in Facebook ads. Okay, anybody who's not interested in Facebook ads or, or people who aren't actually creating Facebook ads, they're not gonna download this and they're not gonna click the download link. Okay, and that's exactly what I want. I only want people who are interested in Facebook ads or who are currently creating Facebook ads. Okay, so that's the problem. Ads underperforming, not sure what to write. And then I give them the solution. The solution is my Facebook ads cheat sheet. Okay, you can learn how to create powerful effective ads 10 times faster and they can download it now for free. Okay, so that's what the copy should say. This is the formula. What's the problem? What's the solution? Okay, the solution is always going to be your product or service, whatever that is. Okay, that's pretty simple. Okay, so now if you come over here, you can view all of your ads. Okay, we got the, what do we have there? We had the mobile news feed right there, feature phone, desktop news feed, and that's it. Okay, now they're tracking all conversions from my Facebook pixel. Okay, so this is all set up for conversion now. The only thing we need to do is place the order. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set up a, an ad for conversions. Okay, so if you have questions on this or any concerns or you're having problems with this, reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you. Okay?